we're going to cover some basic routing concepts just to start with. We'll see where this goes. So to do this, what we're going to need to do is we'll, we're going to bring out a router. So I've clicked on routers here, and I'm going to scroll over to this first generic router because it has a whole bunch of interfaces. I'm going to drag that out. Okay. Yeah, so I've got a router now. All right. And then after I take out a router, I'm going to go to these PCs here, click on end devices, and I'm going to get two PCs, right? And another PC right here, right? Okay. What I want to do is, is I want to connect these PCs to the router Ethernet interfaces, each one to a different Ethernet interface, so almost like two separate networks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to connections, and since it's a direct connection from a PC to the router's Ethernet, we're going to need crossover cable, okay? And then I'm going to click on the PC, click on fast Ethernet, PC1, and then click on this router, and I'm going to go to fast Ethernet 00, the first one there, right? So now this e PC is connected to this router's fast Ethernet 00, all right? It's red because the interfaces are down. Now I'm going to get another crossover cable. I'm going to click this PC, connect it to fast Ethernet, drag, click on the router, and go to fast Ethernet 1.0, right? So now this router's got two Ethernet interfaces plugged in to two separate PCs, right? So it's essentially what we do is we have separate two separate networks here, right? So we've got to figure out what we're going to do with that. Well, I'm going to take this PC right here, and I'm going to say this guy's going to be 192.168.1.100. It's going to be on the 1.100 network. Okay. And then this guy, he's going to be 192.168.5.100. Okay. So I've basically, by doing that, I've said that we're going to have a 192.168.1 network. We're going to have a 5 network, right? And we're going to have to configure the router accordingly. So now I'm going to click on this router. And we haven't really got into command line um, commands yet. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go to the config, all right, the config window. And I'm just going to use the GUI tool to configure it right now because this is still the beginning of, of the semester. So I'll go to fast Ethernet 00, right? And I'm going to put in the IP address. 192.168.1.1. Now, right here, I've clicked on Fast Ethernet 0 right here, right? And I'm going to turn it on, okay? Now, the commands that you would actually put in the router on the command line, on the command line interface, are actually shown right here as soon as you put in these commands. So, notice port status on 192.168.1.1. There's that. That's Fast Ethernet 0. And now for Fast Ethernet 1, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to do 192.168.5.1. Click in here. There's the default subnet mask, the classful subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. That's a slash 24 subnet mask. Now I'll turn that on. Okay. Now that's on. All right. Now. Okay, close that. Notice our green lights are now on our interfaces. We've got a green light on the router interfaces. We've got green lights on the PC interfaces. Of course, this PC doesn't have an IP address yet, or does it? No, if I hover over it, it says address not set, and this PC address not set, right? So I'm going to show you a cool test here. I'm going to click on the PC, and I'm going to go to configure, right? And well, I'll do this. I'll go to desktop. I'll click on desktop IP configuration static, and I'll say 192.168.1.100 subnet mask. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the gateway. I'm going to leave the gateway alone. Okay, leave the gateway alone right now. No gateway. Okay, no gateway. All right. Let's just do a quick test. See if we can ping the gateway now. Ping 
1.1. Can we ping it? Yeah, we can. We can ping it because we're connected to it. But we've left out a crucial step. We haven't given ourselves a gateway, right? We can ping it because we're directly connected to it and we're on a local area network. It's going to find its way there anyway. But we need our gateway set, especially if we want to get out to a different network. So let's put it in. All right. I don't need a DNS server because I, I don't have one right now. But if I did, it might be the same thing. So let's just do it anyway. Let's say that if the router was going to be the DNS server also, we would put in the same thing. Not necessary, though. OK, so we got that. And once again, we can up arrow on your command prompt. You can ping your gateway, right? All right. Now we'll go to this other PC, and we'll do the same thing. We'll configure. Um, no, desktop, IP configuration, that's easy. And we'll make him five dot one hundred and we'll put in his gateway so he knows how to get out. Okay? And if we want we could put the same DNS in. And then test to see if we can ping our gateway. Once again, network testing tools. Ping. Network testing tools. Okay, oops. Control C. Mislabeled that, forgot a dot. Okay, I can ping there. Now, so I can ping from here to the gateway, and I can ping from this guy to this gateway. What's the next thing you're dying to do? Computer. That's right. Ping from this host to this host. Let's give it a let's give it a try, shall we? So we'll go here. Can I ping 5.1? So I go up arrow here. Or not 5.1, can I ping 5.100? Okay? Guess what? I can. Okay? I can ping I can ping from I can ping from this network over here, right, which is the 192.168.1.0 network to the 192.168.5.0 network over here. I can ping successfully across. Why? Well, because of the router, right? Let's take a look at this router. We'll open it. We'll click on the router, okay? Click on the router. We'll go to the command line interface. And when we get to the command line interface, I'm going to hit enter. All right. And what I want to do for this, if you see this configure interface, what I want you to do is I just want you to hit control C on your keyboard, then hit enter. And then if you want to type in exit and we'll start from a uh, that's that's the screen you would see if you just consoled in to the router initially. You first hooked up your console cable into your router. This is what you would see. If you'd use a console cable and console into your router, this is what you'd see. So you'd type return. There's no password. This is the user exec prompt, right? User exec mode, basic user mode. Then we'll type in enable. And that takes us to privileged user mode. And from there, we can look at our routing table. So I'm going to do show space IP route. And when I do that, I see the routing table. And this is really important because this is what the router knows. These are the routes that the router knows about. Okay, The router knows how to get to the 1 network, and it knows how to get to the 5 network. Notice what it says, 192.168.1.0 slash 24, 255.255.255.0, that's what that means. And the 5.0 network, slash 24, are directly connected to the two Ethernet interfaces. Notice what this says, the code, C. And this says C, connected. These are 
connected networks, connected to his interfaces. So we didn't have to do anything to the router, but turn on the interfaces, give it an IP address, and the router knows how to route to these connected networks, right? The router knows how to send packets back and forth, right? From here to here, across these two networks, because they're on connected interfaces, and so the router knows about those two networks. The router has a built-in way of getting there. 